Hey everyone, so to start off this look, I'm gonna take a nude liner and trace out where I want the wound to be. So typically the more irregular the shape is, the more realistic it looks. And then I'm gonna take some modeling wax and I'm gonna mix some rubber mask grease paints in to get the wax a bit more of a similar color to my skin tone. So you don't need to worry too much about the color match being like spot on, just because there is gonna be a lot of blood that we're gonna be putting on top, so you won't really notice. Then I'm taking some Prosade, which is like an adhesive, and I'm gonna put a layer of that on the outline that I drew. This way the wax will have a bit more grip and it'll just stick to my skin a bit better. Then with the wax, I'm gonna roll little worm shapes out of it and apply it onto my skin in sections. And then once the wax is all warmed up, just apply that onto your outline. And I'm just gonna take my palette knife to kind of smooth out the product and blend it in a bit better. Next, I'm taking some liquid latex and I'm gonna apply that onto a makeup sponge and just stipple that onto the inside of the wound just to create a base layer of texture. And I'm also gonna put a little bit of that liquid latex onto the wax in like an irregular pattern just to seal different parts of it and add a bit more texture to it. Next, I'm taking an alcohol activated palette and I'm gonna color the wax area a bit. So I'm just gonna use the red adjuster just to pull the wax a bit more on the pink side. And I'm also splattering some other tones onto it just for some more dimension. But again, this is more of like a precautionary step just in case the wax peeks through the blood. So you don't have to worry about this step being too, too perfect. Next up, I'm gonna make the tendons. So I'm just taking some Q-tips and I'm gonna measure them onto my hand to make sure they're the right size. So I'm gonna pull off the ends of the cotton and I'm gonna cut the Q-tips a bit shorter if need be. Next, I'm gonna take a Kleenex and pull it apart. That way it's just the thin ply of the Kleenex and I'm gonna basically be paper macheing the Q-tip. So I'm gonna put some liquid latex onto the Kleenex and then just wrap it around the Q-tip. So I prefer the look of the tendons with this technique versus just the plain Q-tip. Otherwise, it's too perfect and too smooth looking. While those babies dry, I'm just gonna put a thin layer of Prose down and I'm just basically feeling on my hand where my actual tendons are and I'm just gonna follow that. Then I'm just pressing the fake tendons down and adjusting the wax slightly just to make sure that the tendons line up correctly. Then to seal it all, I'm gonna put a thin layer of liquid latex over it. And I'm also gonna put some cotton onto the liquid latex sporadically to make it appear more fibrous and more fleshy and just to add some more texture. Then once that's all dry, I'm gonna go back in with my alcohol activated paints and I'm gonna color the wound. So I'm layering a variety of like purples and reds and oranges and I'm just playing around with like diluting some of the colors with alcohol a bit more and then keeping some areas a bit more pigmented and rich. So I wasn't really feeling this one tendon because it ended up looking a bit too thick, so I'm just taking some scissors and trimming it a bit thinner. Next, I'm going in with a thick scab blood and I'm just gonna build this up into the deepest parts of the wound, especially under like the little flaps of skin where the wax is, all around there. Then I'm going in with some liquid blood and I'm just gonna put that stuff basically everywhere. This blood always just makes things look fresh and gory and just generally better, so feel free to go a little crazy with it. And I'm just using some sponges to stipple that all around the wound as well. Then I'm going back in with the alcohol activated paint and I'm just gonna color the wax with some red paints just to bring everything together. And then when you think you're all done, it just adds some more blood. And there you go. So that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I could not imagine the reactions you would get if you just went out in public on a regular day with this makeup on. Anyways, that'd be a whole other video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.